What's up time travelers? Today we're going to talk about why it's so hard to make time for everything important in your life and how to guarantee that you will have time to make time for anything you want. famous demonstration that I believe was made famous by Stephen Covey. And it goes something like this. There was a teacher teaching his class about productivity, and on his desk he placed a jar. Then in the jar he put a bunch of large rocks. And then he asked the class, is this jar full? And of course the class had never heard a trick question before, so they said, yeah it is, of course. Then the teacher takes a bunch of smaller pebbles, and he pours them into the jar like so. So the teacher says, now is the jar full? The students for some reason still don't know that the teacher's fucking with them, so they say, yeah, now it's full. The teacher takes out some sand. He pours the sand into the jar and it flows around the pebbles. So the teacher asks again, now is the jar full? The students clearly still don't know how this game is played. So they say, yes. Now the jar is full. And that's when the teacher fills the jar with water. And the water fills around all the cracks. And it saturates the sand. And I grossly underestimated how difficult this would be to draw. The moral of this demonstration is that if the teacher had started by filling the jar with water, then he wouldn't have been able to put the sand in it. If he had started with the sand, he wouldn't have been able to put the pebbles in it. If he started with the pebbles, he wouldn't have been able to put the giant rocks in it. And the moral goes, this is how it is with life. You have to start with your most important tasks first. Because if you fill up all of your time with all of the little bullshit tasks, then you're not going to have time for the important stuff. It's a charming little story and a nice life lesson. Unfortunately, there is one major, major problem with this demonstration. You see, the teacher starts with the jar empty. But the truth is, there is nobody who starts with an empty life, with an empty jar. No matter who you are and what you do for a living, 100% of your time is already accounted for. 100% of your time is already going towards something. Even if that something is something you would call nothing. Even if it's sitting on the couch and watching TV, you're still doing something. This jar is already filled to the brim. Whereas the demonstration treats us as though we are starting with a clean slate, in fact, we are starting with a calendar that is 100% filled. And I'm willing to bet that some of the stuff that's in this jar is actually pretty important. You might think, oh, watching TV isn't actually that important. Well, maybe it is if you just got home from working a 12-hour day. So I'd like to suggest that we take a different perspective on our jar analogy. Let us start the analogy with the jar already completely full. Because when we start with this perspective, what we immediately realize is that if we want to fit anything else in this jar, we have to first remove something. So let's take a look at what we can remove. Now a lot of time management books, they'll tell you to do things like organize your inbox. That stuff is the sand. Being super organized, being organized with your time, all of that's good and it's going to make more space in your jar, but only as much space as you can get from removing the sand. But as we did in the original demonstration, let's look at the big rocks first. I'm an entrepreneur. That means that I believe in ditching the job, leaving behind the nine to five, and going out on your own. Now I want you to note here, not everybody can just leave their job and start a business. So for some people, that particular big rock can't be removed. But for the entrepreneur, it absolutely can. So let's start by removing that. And what's cool about that is you remove some of those pebbles too. This right here is getting ready for work in the morning. This right here is the commute to work. This is the commute from work. And this is the time that I have to unwind from being so tired after work. Okay, now we've carved ourselves a little spot. Although let's be realistic, work takes a lot more of our time than one large rock in this jar. So really, we, if we eliminate work from our lives, we've really made about that much space for ourselves. 
And honestly, it would be a lot more, except that as an entrepreneur, you still have to work. Some would argue that you even have to work more than you would at a typical job. I personally think that people who say that just aren't working correctly. So now, and only now, that we've cleared ourselves some space, now we can actually start filling this back up using Stephen Covey's metaphor. This is where the decision comes in. What do we fill this with? We need to start with things that are really important, that are actually important to us. But now, because we've cleared out some of the stuff that we probably did just because society forced us to do it, now we can actually fill this space with things that we believe are important. Maybe this right here. Maybe this is spending time with your family. Maybe this over here. Maybe this is starting to get into shape. Maybe this right here. This is discovering what you're truly passionate about in life. We can also fill in some of the other spaces. Maybe this is karate classes. This is learning an instrument. This is having a guy's night out. We have time to think about this kind of stuff now only because we cleared the clutter out of our lives first. All right, what are some of these other big rocks? These two great big rocks down here, this represents the time that you spend sleeping at night. Do not touch these rocks. My implication is not that you're going to be able to completely empty this jar, because there are already things in here that are extremely important to you. If anything, most of us could stand to actually add more to the sleep section of our lives, and maybe with some of the time that we make up here, we can add that back in as sleep. So what are the other big things in our life? Here's one that I'm going to say, and it's going to be really, really controversial. Think about all the time that you take preparing, eating, and cleaning up after food. To some people, this activity in their life is extremely important, and they would not part with it for the world. If that's you, that's okay. If you truly love to cook for yourself and to eat, then by all means, keep it in your jar. For me personally, I know that I ate convenience foods a lot. I don't particularly get off on cooking, and I definitely don't get off on cleaning up after myself. That was a really unfortunate use of words right there. Uh, what I mean is that I really don't enjoy cleaning up the kitchen after I cook. So these are all things that I eliminated from my life, and in another video I'll explain exactly how I did that. And by eliminating those things from my life, it means that I have more time to do the things that are really important to me. And it blows my mind the way that people think about this when I talk about it sometimes. People will actually suggest that I'm lazy because I don't want to spend the time cooking and eating and cleaning up after myself. By the way, I do eat, but I have ways that I save time. But is it really lazy? I mean, you only get so much stuff that you can put in your jar. You only have so many hours in the day. And if you spend some of those hours cooking, it necessarily means that you can't spend that time doing something else. All I've done is simply replace cooking, cleaning, all of that stuff with other tasks, other things that are more important, more relevant to me. And if that makes me lazy, then, well, my laziness has made me real goddamn successful. All right, so after you move some of those big rocks out of the jar, you might find that everything else remaining in your life needs to stay there. There's no more room left with the big rock. You might find that before you remove the food stuff. Again, if you like that stuff, absolutely keep it. The next place you can go is the pebbles. And maybe this is where stuff like checking Facebook, watching TV, stuff like that fits in. Again, maybe those things are more important to you than you realize. Maybe people are calling you lazy for doing those things, and maybe those people are full of shit. On the other hand, maybe they're not, so we can get rid of them. That's going to clear up quite a bit of space. All right, here's another big one. Maybe you love doing laundry and cleaning the house and doing all of the menial chores in your life, but maybe those are just things you gotta do. Here's the thing though. If your time is more valuable than about $15 an hour, and what I mean by that is you can make more than $15 an hour uh, with your time, either at your job or in your entrepreneurial ventures. If your time is more valuable than $15 an hour, and you're doing your own laundry, then you are wasting time. Hire a maid, hire a personal assistant, and if you do that, that's gonna clear a whole lot of this little stuff. Think about how much of your time is wasted by menial chores that really anybody could do. Do you work from a laptop? The time you spend working on your laptop is that worth more than the price it takes to get an Uber to go somewhere? Then stop wasting your time driving, start taking Ubers, 
and use that time to get valuable work done that only you can do. It's funny, I remember a conversation with my mom when I told her about my goal to get a personal driver, and she said, why would you do that when you can just drive yourself? And I thought, gee, that's a funny question. Why would I buy a chicken from the store when I can just raise my own chickens? Why would I buy produce when I can just be a farmer? Why would I use a washing machine when I can just get a big wash tub full of, full of water and scrub my clothes just like they did back in the old days? I'm just playing with you, mom. You know I love you. Now, this process of cleaning out all of the junk in your life, all of the stuff that's taking up your time that you don't really need, it won't happen all at once, but over time, piece by piece, stone by stone, grain of sand by grain of sand, you can start to replace all of the bullshit in your life and replace it with things that make you better, that make your life better, that make society better, that make you more fulfilled and happier, that allow you to help others. Some of the stuff I'm saying might sound controversial, but that's only because we have been trained so hard by society to think and act in certain ways when it comes to work and how we fill our time. If you found this video useful, be sure to like and subscribe and share with all your friends.